generation of gospel, hip hop gospel artists. They call themselves black minded because they all were doing the same thing so they came together to make one fantastic group. And what they're doing, they're praising God and having fun. Is that all right? Is that all right? Yeah, 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 okay. We're gonna keep it rolling. We're gonna keep it rolling. Coming up now is a brother from Columbus by way of Atlanta. This brother has got a testimony. Come on up here. Come on up, bro, Tim. Tim Gabriel, give it up as he come. Tim Gabriel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim gonna tell you a little bit about what he was doing. Cause he been out on the big league with the real gospel rapper. Well, they wasn't gospel rapper, though. Tell us all about it, my brother. How y'all doing? All right. Y'all doing all right? Yeah, for real. You doing good? Yes. Say a little bit loud, just a little bit loud. Yes. Man, y'all sound like y'all did. I mean, for real, but listen up. Uh, you want me to share a little bit of my testimony? Uh, I used to go by the name of Timothy Highwater, and uh, I used to uh, have this label I was doing called 13 Floor Entertainment. And uh, a lot of y'all know uh, DJ O3, right? From right here, 98.3 to beat and all that. We used to do a little, little music back in the days when that, but uh, we was affiliated, and I ended up meeting this guy named Killer Mike. Y'all ever heard of Killer Mike? Yeah. Called Mike Bigger, used to be with Outcare. But we ended up hooking up, and we was about to start something new. It was about a fun label called Grind Time. And upon that, I was invited to come and perform at uh, the 20 Grand up in Atlanta, Georgia. And at the 20 Grand that night, uh, this group called Home Crush uh, was there, but they wasn't yet beating. You know, they was about to drop a single, We Ain't Never Scared. Y'all ever heard that from back in the days? We ain't never and that night, a guy named T.I. was there. Y'all have heard of T.I.? Uh, Field Mob, if you ever heard of Field Mob? Okay, so a lot of these cats were there. Uh, Young Bloods and all them, the added crew, and things of that nature, okay? So this night was supposed to be my night to make it. But something happened. A lot of times when God is dealing with us, we know he's dealing with us. Because we hear those little talks that he gives us, but we ignore them because we still want to chill with our boys or hang with our girls and things of that nature. But upon that same thing, God made his presence even more known that night. I was I had to head back outside because the artist forgot my CD. He brought his in and he was going to perform something, I guess. So he left mine. So as I was trying to go out, they told me they couldn't let nobody out or in. And I'm like, well, I'm supposed to be performing. They said, well, the fire marshal said no one can go in or out. But we'll see if we can get you out so you can go and get your stuff. But later on, the fire marshal closed the event down. There was too many people, too much chaos and things of that nature. Well, that was God's way of intervening. See, when God got a purpose and a plan for your life, sometimes he'll take it upon himself to intervene in your life. Say that, man. Sometimes when you're supposed to be dead, he allowed you to live. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when you and your homeboy were playing with that gun, and that gun didn't go off accidentally, he was intervening in your life. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Those times when you were smoking that weed and you didn't see who rolled it and it could have laced it and you could have lost your mind, he was intervening in your life. These things happen. Why? Because he loved us in spite of who we were or yeah. who we are at that time. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Well, I didn't give my life to the Lord right away. You know, I still was pursuing my, my music and things of that nature and, and things was about to take off. But one day God got a hold of me. And I knew I needed him. So I ended up giving my life to Lord McLean's story short. Sure, that was like back in 2003. 2010, God okay me to rap for him. So 2010 was, what? Well, yeah, 2011 was my first official year rapping for God. And it's been a very cool thing to do. A lot of times, you know, we get so caught up in our swag and who we're going to impress and how, how my friends going to think about me. But I read so many times, young cats are dead. And guess where their friends at? Still living. Meaning their friends still got a chance to get their life to God. But that dude, that girl is dead. And if she ain't give her life to God before she died, she in a bad situation. You know what I'm saying? So think for yourself. That's the number one thing. This first one I'm going to do is called I'm going to crank them up. It's my type of thing. No matter what other folks do, I'm going to crank Christ up. Say that, bro. You understand know what I'm saying? But before I do it, Father God, I thank you right now for this Come opportunity. Yeah. I decrease right now that you might increase. Mm -hmm. I pray that you use me. Use me. 
use me, God, that I glorify you in all that I say and do. And I pray that whomever is out here who you know you are aiming to get, I pray that they hear every word that is spoken. Send your Holy Spirit amongst us that edifies, comforts us, and convict those that are in sin that they may see themselves before it's everlasting too late. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So I'm going to pray them up. Before I do it, I want y'all to just give me with the words. Can y'all give me a little response? Okay. Say this right here. Say, I'm a crank em up. I'm a, I'm a crank em up. I'm a, I'm a crank em up. I'm a crank Jesus up. Yeah, I'm, I'm a crank em up. I'm a, I'm a crank em up. I'm a, I'm a crank em up. I'm a crank Jesus up. Yeah, I'm. Okay. Yeah. It's going to go a little bit different. The second part, we're going to say, I'm going to crank them up, I'm going to crank Jesus up. Then the second time, we're going to say, I'm going to crank them up louder than a stereo. Okay? Got that? Right. <laughs> Just let it go. Go with it, man. Go with it, man.